So hatch day was not until April 1st, and today is March 30th. So we had some early birds. I have my incubator set up here in the kids' old bathroom that we don't use, but it's right at the top of the stairs. So every time I go up and down, I check the incubator to make sure the temperature and humidity is good and everything. And um, So I noticed that two hatched last night and this morning there were six and now there's nine. So I took these dry ones out of the incubator and I see that there's three more that are starting to break out of their shells so hopefully we'll have more soon. But I uh, have their little little brooder but it's not it's just a temporary brooder until they're all hatched and then I will move them into a bigger brooder either in the basement or in the tack room of the barn. But um, for now, they have um, they have a heat lamp here because it's supposed to be about 90 degrees here when they first hatch for them. And they have, oh, this one's so cute looking right at the camera. And they have some feed. They have an organic uh, layer feed, or not layer feed, that's for when they get older. They have an organic starter um, feed that's little crumbles that they can eat and there's some little chick grit in there too because they need grit to be able to digest their food and then they've got water and they'll just probably be in here for a couple days maybe a few days until they're all hatched and then like I said they'll go into the brooder so I started out with some Dominique chickens they are a dual purpose both eggs and meat heritage breed chicken and then I got some buff Orpingtons and some Americanas that lay green eggs and uh, what else we've got some copper Morans and some Rhode Island Reds so I've got quite a mix but they're all dual purpose heritage breeds in my barn and so we've got quite a mixture here this one looks pretty unique this one looks a lot like the um, I've also got some Brahmas and this one both the shape of its head this is kind of multicolored one here. Both the shape of its head and the markings on it look a lot like when I got the Brahma chicks. So we've got quite a mixture and it's fun to see um, some come out very unique. Some look just like their parents, um, but it's always fun to see what we get. It's always a surprise. And we will keep the hens for egg layers. We now get brown eggs and we get um, we get a mixture of very light brown some are I even have had a couple white eggs and then they go all the way to a pretty dark brown and we also had some blue egg layers with the Americanas and then when those are crossed with the brown we get a green egg and so I've got different shades of green anywhere from a, a mint green to um, an they call it an olive agar so it's it's a darker deeper warmer green color so we've got quite a mix here and hopefully more to come but I just wanted to share with you all um, I planned this so that they would be here in time for Easter Easter is about nine days away and it's always fun for the grandkids to be able to come over and play with baby chicks on Easter so happy early Easter to everyone and uh, thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe remember every time someone subscribes to my channel a chicken gets a new hat thanks folks bye-bye hi folks this is grandma karen asking you to please like this video and subscribe for every new subscription to our channel a chicken gets a new hat thanks everybody have a great day